Here in my office I have my UPS which I have rebuilt from lead acid battery to lithium ion phosphate cells and I'm going to deplete the pack now to show you a problem which you might have when you do this and how I fixed that problem. So let's take the power off. The UPS is now running the PC still. I will slowly shut down the PC and then just wait until the battery pack is fully drained. The UPS battery is now completely depleted. I can toggle the switch. Everything stays dark. If I now plug it back into AC, turn on the AC, switch it on, it will still remain to be dead. So what happened now? We know this UPS is designed for a lead acid battery and when we use a lead acid battery we have our control board which is taking over the charging, discharging and everything and we have only a battery, right? But after we have rebuilt this to lithium ion phosphate we have now three components here inside that's the control board, the battery cells and a BMS. So, and that BMS in between this control board and the battery cells is what is causing now the troubles. You know, a BMS is an electronic component and it is built out of semiconductors and what we are interested in is actually the transistors which are used as switches, right? There are MOSFETs inside there which can shut down the system if let's say a cell is going below a limit in this case and what a semiconductor is as well doing to us here in this case is it is causing an extra voltage drop over it so we have in the best case if it's a really good component maybe 0.3 volts in the worst case it's about 0.7 volts of extra voltage drop between the control board and the battery cells just coming from those MOSFETs. And of course this is a voltage which is missing. The control board cannot be set to output that extra voltage which would be required so that you have then the correct voltage levels on the battery cells, right? So this is an extra missing part of energy on the top of the battery and on the bottom it's causing a little bit too much of a discharge so that's why when the battery is depleted the control board will actually not stop uh, depleting the cells until probably the BMS turns off the process and that's why now when we try to turn it on nothing will happen because the BMS is actually shutting down our system. But how can we fix this? Let me show you what I did, what I added, and then we will open the box and I will show you also inside where this went. So what was necessary to put extra is a small momentary switch like this here. This here was the best place to put this switch on the back panel of this UPS. And here we have now our momentary switch. Those two contacts are bridging our MOSFETs on the BMS. Battery voltage then can reach again our control board and more or less restart the UPS. Okay, this is the inside now of our BMS. We have our control board, we have our rebuilt lithium ion phosphate pack here and here our BMS. And here in the corner you can see my momentary switch. We have two leads and they are going here to the BMS. 
you can see on the BMS we have our battery minus and then is this row of MOSFETs here and on the other side is the P minus which goes then to the load and this uh, context of the momentary switch is only bridging this row of MOSFETs so this should then output our pack voltage directly to the control board okay let's try it out switching on the AC power switch on nothing is happening and now I'm going to press my momentary switch in the back and the UPS is restarting and now the controller can again uh, charge up the battery pack one of my viewers once commented uh, that you could actually instead of a BMS also use an active balancer only inside uh, the UPS so it would actually rely purely on the transfer of voltage from a high cell to a low cell in case that you have a cell run away right but there would be nothing stopping the pack going out of limit so that's a kind of a risk and i don't know if i could recommend something like this because you know if if you really have a run away of a cell and the balancer cannot keep up then you might destroy your pack like that as well okay so that was it a short video today thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel comment and like the video i see you next time